<laughs> light my face on fire. This one smells like a baby's bum. Don't mess with a girl and her flaming Hot Cheetos. Hi guys, I'm Natalie Noel, and today I'm playing the expensive taste test with Cosmo. This is super simple. They're gonna place two items in front of me and I'm gonna guess which one is the most expensive. I think I'm gonna kill it, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but I think that I have a pretty good radar and gauge on things that are a little more luxurious versus things that are not. I smell some pasta, so I'm hoping I don't mess that one up because I am a self-proclaimed pasta queen, but we'll see. Not surprised that you guys gave me some swimwear. <laughs> and I should be able to tell the difference. Let's see. These are really cute. Right off the bat, this one's got some padding in it. This one does not. It's a little bit of a thinner material. This one feels like silky, silky smooth. I was just recently in the Sports Illustrated swim issue this year, so I should be able to tell what a good bikini is. And my guess is gonna be that this is the least expensive bikini and this is the most expensive bikini. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely tell. This one is like made just a little bit better. The clasps are good. The seams are like seamless. It's funny, I never ever ever in a million years would have expected to be a part of the Sports Illustrated Swim issue. It was a very, very, very empowering experience for me. So I'm very, very grateful to Sports Illustrated for letting me be a part of it. And now I can tell between a cheap versus a luxury bikini. <laughs> Okay, we have my favorite, pasta. I honestly am probably not a pasta expert. I just love eating pasta, so I'm just gonna call myself an expert. I actually have a whole birch clothing line um, called Pay Me in Pasta. So instead of paying me in money, just pay me in more carbs. That's sort of the mantra. <laughs> All right, let's see. Just off the bat, I can smell that this is like sort of a cheaper marinara sauce. This might just be my own personal preference, but I feel like when the marinara has like chunks of tomato in it, it's not as nice, not as good. It smells okay, but it smells like very, very basic. Hmm. Okay. Not super impressed with that one. Let's see. Oh, this one's weird. <laughs> I don't even know, what is this? I mean, they're supposed to both be a marinara, right? But this one does not look or taste like a marinara, which also makes me think when things are super weird and funky, I feel like that means that they're more expensive for some reason. I don't know why that would be. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I'm not using words, sorry. It's really good too at the same time, so <laughs> it's hard to tell. You know? This one doesn't have like any fragrance. This one is super fragrant. Like this is like very strong, but I also feel like this is like a very basic tomato sauce. I'm just gonna go with the orange. I'm gonna say the orange is the more expensive pasta dish. Oh, I got it. <laughs> nice. We have two candles. They look very similar from the outside, the same sort of glass and whatnot. I'm also a candle connoisseur. Little did you probably not know. I love a good candle. So let's see, smell test is obviously very important. Whoa, that one is very fragrant. Mmm, <laughs> this one is, you guys covered the brand, the tag at the bottom. I'm like, let me cheat. Should we light them just to see? This one looks and smells like it's probably cheaper. It's got that like artificial, way too much scent and fragrance that doesn't feel like natural. This feels very subtle and very natural. I'm just gonna light it for the vibes. Why not? <laughs> light my face on fire. <laughs> that one looks like a more expensive wick. This one's covered in wax and I feel like it's gonna take longer to light. No, actually they light pretty much the same. The scent on this one is way more subtle. It just feels more luxurious. This one smells like they just threw a bunch of chemicals in there and blended it all together. I'm gonna say this one. This is the more expensive candle. No? What? This one is not good. Okay, so we have two soccer balls here and I feel like I'm just gonna go right for this one because I have a pretty good feeling. I played soccer my whole life. I mean, I love soccer to death. I watch it all day, I would play it all day. This one, you can see the stitching. It honestly feels like a balloon. This is definitely the least expensive and this is the more expensive. There's more padding, the stitching is tighter and more secure and it feels like the weight is better. More expensive ball, please. Yay, thank God. <laughs> I played for long enough, I feel like I should know. <laughs> 
I feel like this is the one that's supposed to trick me up, but little did you know I'm a water connoisseur too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let's just try it. Okay. Oh God, they taste literally exactly the same. <laughs> All right, let me look. This one's got some more bubbles, a little more carbonation, which honestly probably has nothing to do with the water, but, hmm. Okay, wait, maybe. This one tastes thinner. I don't know if that's even a, a texture that can be in water, <laughs> but this one tastes a little more like clear and thin. This one feels like a little heavier. Maybe there's like some more salt in it or something. Mm. This one's the more expensive one, maybe? Oh. <laughs> that one's impossible, I would have never gotten that one. Honestly, I don't even drink really bottled water, I prefer tap water, so that's probably why I like this one more. All my friends are like, ew, you're drinking the LA tap water? And I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? Built up the immune system, get all, whatever the heck is in the LA pipes, it's coming into my body. <laughs> Now we have two microphones. I've held a microphone or two in my day, so I should be able to know which one. Off the bat, this one has a little foam guy on it, which makes me feel like they care more about the sound on this one, so maybe this one is more expensive. Oh, this one's heavier. That's usually a pretty good indication of something that's maybe pricier, it's heavier. I'm gonna look and see, like, are there weird attachments and things? This one's really clean and chic, which makes me think maybe it's more expensive. I don't even know what I'm reading. I've done a couple podcasts and, you know, co-hosted on my own podcast, The Views Podcast. We use regular mics. We don't even use mics like this. We don't use like microphones that are typical for a podcast because we're just weird like that. They both have two knobs. I'm like trying to figure out what's the discrepancy here. I'm gonna say the little one. The little one is the more expensive microphone. It just feels like more aerodynamic. It's lighter, there's less going on. It's simple, it's clean. It has this puff. The puff is like pretty good indicator of something expensive over like. Yeah, this one's gonna be the more expensive one. Oh God, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I feel like the best indication of an expensive microphone is actually listening to it. I feel like I was set up to fail on this one. <laughs> I feel like you guys are really nailing it on items that are very Natalie. I'm like gold hoop girl. <laughs> okay, so we have two pairs of gold hoops. Okay, these are tiny. They feel kind of like plastic, to be honest. They do not feel like real metal. Can I bend it? I'm gonna bend it a little. Yeah, this one is very flimsy. My bets are on these being the cheaper ones. Okay, wait, yep. No flimsiness here. Maybe a little bit, shoot. I wanna say these are the more expensive ones. They're heavier, they feel a little more luxurious. Oh wait, but also, hold on. These ones have a silver thing. They're just covered, they're just painted in gold. And the back is silver and these are fully gold. And I feel like you're trying to trick me. So I'm gonna say these are the more expensive ones. Hi, I got it. <laughs> Obviously these look like they made the more expensive ones, but they're not. I got you. We have two jars of something. I'm assuming it's a moisturizer of some sort. Okay, smell test. This one smells like a baby's bum. Lots of fragrance in that one. Let's see what this one, okay. Mmm, this one smells good. This smells like a spa, like a cream is supposed to smell, not overly fragrance like this one. And the textures are completely different. Okay, let's try. Ooh. <laughs> this one is like thick and creamy. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, let's try this one. This one's really light, wow. This one feels like there's a lot of water in it, which usually means it's not as expensive. You can tell, wow, this part of my hand is a lot shinier. But this is just a lot thicker, a lot creamier. It goes a lot longer, you know, with a little bit, which I feel like is a really good indicator of good skincare. A little bit goes a long way. So definitely the more expensive one. Hey, I got it. I love a good snack, especially a good spicy snack. We have two versions of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I feel like I can smell. You can like smell the Flamin' Hot on this one. This one is just kind of smells a little more dull, but we will try it anyway because we're hungry. <laughs> mm hmm I'm not a Flamin' Hot Cheeto. Unless they're just stale. A Flamin' Hot Cheeto is like crisp, like you can get that. A crunch, this is good, you want that. Oh, but what's more expensive? I'm just going brands. I'm just like, I know my flaming Hot Cheeto. Um, well, I'm gonna say these are the most expensive because this is probably the 
This is the name brand version and this is the generic version. <laughs> Don't mess with a girl and her flaming Hot Cheetos. I mean, I got more right than I did wrong, which is pretty good. And I feel like the ones that I missed were just tricky. It was like, obviously I was gonna miss them, you know? I love playing the expensive taste test. I'll do this all day. You guys can keep feeding me flaming Hot Cheetos, different chips, different pastas, and we can hang out all day long. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with me. It's lunchtime and I'm starving and I gotta go. Bye.